So I'm Mateen Durrani, the editor of Physics World, and we're here at the headquarters of IOP Publishing in Bristol. And apologies if it's a bit noisy outside, there was a couple of police cars just went past. But I'm delighted to be joined by Carlo Rovelli, who's author of this new book, Seven Brief Lessons on Physics. Carlo, do you want to tell us about the book? Um, it's, it's a short book, um, it's just 80 pages or so, and uh, um, the idea I, uh, behind the book is uh, seven small chapters uh, uh, summarizing what I think, at least my perspective, is the core of the uh, 20th century um, physics revolution. There's a short chapter on GR, quantum mechanics, and cosmology, particle physics, uh, um, on the notion of heat and uh, thermodynamics and statistical mechanics and the notion of time that goes uh, with. Uh, and uh, uh, there's a final chapter in which uh, I talk about uh, our position as human beings in the world described by physics. Um, Can you get to the bottom of things in such a short book? That must, must be very difficult to be that's limited. That's the point. Um, somehow, I think that uh, um, physics at the end is like music. There's a huge amount of work behind it, right? Of course, uh, but the core discovery is simple. Okay, the Earth is not the center of the universe. It goes around the sun. Um, all animals are have common ancestors. Uh, science, when it when you have well digested it, uh, it should be possible to say it simply. I try to do that. Of course, I give a personal perspective of many of these things. Quantum mechanics, I'm not sure we have digested it entirely, so I give my own view of quantum mechanics, my own view of quantum gravity. There's a chapter on quantum gravity. Quantum gravity, of course, is my, my work, so I, I have a personal take on quantum gravity. Um, but this was a real success in Italy, in your native Italy. How many has it sold there? More than 300,000 copies. It was wide beyond imagination. The book was on top of all the selling rankings. Was, was that because you did a lot of promotion, or no. you just think it struck a chord somewhere among no, I think, public? No, I think just people, people, Italian people just read it, and uh, the way it worked is that people like it. It's only a few euros, it's less than 10 years. Um, less than 10 pounds. Available in all good bookshops and online. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, people read it and get excited and make gifts to their friends. And, uh, and that's the way it, uh, it spread. It's being translated in 24 languages. Incredible. Yeah, I'm very happy. So when you wrote it, you no. can't have imagined no. this would be such a big hit? No, not at all. Not at all. I sort of put my own passion into it, of course, and my own. Uh, I, I try to. Uh, to get to the core, you know, I'm, as a theoretical physicist, you, you think about things and you say, okay, this is the way I view things. So I try to condensate it and squeeze it in a, in a short, uh, in short chapters um, without details. Just so, what is generativity telling us about the world? This. So Stephen Hawking always said that any equation reduces the um, audience of the book by half. Are there any, any maths in here? One what equation. equation? Which one? Einstein uh, um, field equations. Um, which of course is not explained, but it's just put put there to s to show that a good theory, a relativity, no doubt, is a good theory, uh, must be such that you condense you can condensate it in a single equation. Okay. Brilliant. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Okay.